All right, everybody, Favor 5 Ag Innovations. Um, we are in Holt, Michigan, or Holton, Michigan, um, at the Vogel Engineering site. And uh, I'm going to walk around, show you a few things. I'm going to take you inside, and you get to see this machine. I won't be able to talk too in depth about particulars on it, uh, but you'll definitely get to see it. Um, they're really busy working on it. We're going to try to put a tractor on it this afternoon and actually allow the tractor to turn it. We have some imperfections in some belts and some things, so we're not at 100%, but this is a, a pretty good test run. They're all excited about it. Uh, Wayne has most all of his crew working on it today just while I'm here to be able to see it. I'm going to switch it around. So here's the factory rig. This is the rig that we kind of destroyed to figure all the mathematical stuff out to get it. Uh, this baler was actually a salvage baler. It had some issues. So, anyhow, there's a picture of it. I'm going to switch this around again. I'm going to stand beside this machine so you can kind of see... Maybe how big it is. All right. Okay. Vogel Engineering. This is his whole shop. Now, this is going to be a little funny. This little guy is actually what is going to drive the baler today, which is extremely funny. Hi, Jessica. Little guy, that's like not even big enough to pull our rake, but hey, we're gonna turn the biggest baler in the world with this little tractor. So I'm gonna turn around here and we're gonna go in. meet some of the masterminds behind this deal and here comes your first view right there there's the builder mr. John and his son they've been the two that have done most all of the whole whole thing There's one of the electricians. Now he is standing on the ground. This baler is at um, operating height. That gives you a perspective of how big this thing is. Um, this is how you get to the top of it, which is kind of funny. We're on Facebook Live. <laughs> This piece back here is one of our designs. No other baler in the world has that. That's a twine applicator with a net wrap. So here's the guy that's building it. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about building the machine. How? When did we start it? Um, 
the axle assembly put together and went from there. We went from there to our hinge assembly, we got our hinge and our, our skeletal frame started. Um, started setting up the rollers, filling in pieces between. What was your biggest obstacle? What was the hardest? Oh boy, I don't know, I'd have to give that some thought. Um, <laughs> just figuring it out, I guess. Yeah. I wasn't that familiar with the round baler when I started. Um, understanding how the whole process worked, that was probably the toughest part. So if you rate this machine on everything you've got to build to build in your uh, um, job here with Wayne, how would you compare this to your, the rest of your builds? Um, pretty standard, I would say. Um, probably not the toughest project I've done. Um, had to build a plunger for a square baler. That's pretty tough. When you're yep. dealing with hundreds of parts. Yeah. You know, thousand inches of weld and keeping it square within ten thousand or so. Yeah. 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 Yep. Um, a lot less like a watch than a few things, but right, um, right. But still, you know, gotta be precise. Yeah, but we appreciate it. Thank you, John. Thank you. That individual has worked with Wayne for 30 years, and he's kind of the head of their their build and design team. I'll give you guys another walk around. We have the tires off because we're still doing electrical and. Uh, side panels, we don't have any of the panels made as far as the covers where all the stickers and everything's going to go. Um, so we still have quite a bit to do there. That box there is the beginning stages of all the twine that will go into it. The bottom is the net wrap. This has taken a lot of time to design and engineer this right here. Check this out. He's on a ladder. <laughs> so it's been a long process. Not really all that long when you take into consideration that I met Wayne one year ago before Thanksgiving. So we've just passed our year mark of meeting each other. Um, much less actually building the machine. So they've done an amazing job to stay with it, to get on top of it, and uh, keep, you know, just keep hashing it out. And uh, it's pretty amazing. A lot of big parts. We get it in the field, we'll go into a lot more in-depth detail. But there it is. It's pretty exciting. I'll just give you a brief overview too of their shop. I mean, they've just got more, they've got more metalworking stuff in here than any place I've ever seen. The machines they build are astonishingly big. They only build one of a kind stuff, like he builds stuff that no one else actually builds, which is pretty amazing. That's what he likes to do is build stuff that nobody else builds. So anyhow, guys, appreciate you watching. Like it, share it, and uh, I appreciate it. For all of you guys involved, I just uh, thank you very greatly.